This lesson is on simple and compound sentences. A simple sentence is one independent clause. Look at the first example. The furry cat sat on the couch. What sat on the couch? Cat, subject. The cat did what? Sat, verb. I've got one subject and one verb. It makes it one independent clause or a simple sentence. Look at the second example. The ferocious dog growled loudly. What growled loudly? Dog, subject. The dog did what? Growled, verb. Here I've got one subject and one verb, and like the first sentence, it makes perfect sense, so it is an independent clause or a simple sentence. Compound sentences have two or more independent clauses joined together by either a comma and a coordinating conjunction or a semicolon. Look at the first example. The cat sat on the couch and the dog barked loudly. The cat sat on the couch is an independent clause. The dog barked loudly is an independent clause. And I've joined them together using a comma and a coordinating conjunction. Look at the second example. The cat sat on the couch. The dog barked loudly. I have two independent clauses being joined together with a semicolon, making this a compound sentence. Sometimes students have trouble remembering the coordinating conjunctions. Well, I have a hint for you. All you need to do is remember the word fanboys. Each letter of fanboys stands for a different coordinating conjunction. We have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Check out the image. This is what a compound sentence looks like. We will have an independent clause, also known as a simple sentence, an independent clause, also known as a simple sentence, joined together with a comma and one of the fanboy words. I've got a video for you to watch that will try and help you remember the fanboys. Dude, did you guys get the text? Yeah, man, I got it. There's going to be a fanboys party tonight. Yeah, I heard about this that. This is going to be awesome, man. Let's go. Let's go. People say that I'm the life for the party. Conjunction. A word, a phrase, and a clause for everybody. Conjunction. Uh, people say that I'm the life for the party. Conjunction. A word, a phrase, and a clause for everybody. Conjunction. Uh, Send a text to your friends, pass it around The fanboys party is about to go down They throw a soiree to make phrases meet And words and clauses, this is the elite When the fanboys host the party, you'll see These conjunctions the most So come party with me F is for, for is formal A fancier way of saying because sort of could you please pass the peas? For my arms are a little too short to read. Well, the four is fancy and is greedy. Always adding things and is needy. Eating feasts of meats and various treats. And always wants more. And I want it free. Meet Nor. He works as a waiter. Nor isn't nice. Nope, he's a hater. I won't serve you now, nor will I serve you later. Yeah, you're neither, and neither are his neighbors. B is but. Not really full of hate, but when Butt shows up, she's going to debate. Whatever. We talk, but she butts in and disagrees. She's cool, but she can be tough, you see. Who you calling tough? O is or, who can't decide, no, or can't ever make up her mind. Like, does she want the fish or the steak? Or is always afraid of making some mistake. She could go out or she could stay in. She's eating vegan or loving bacon. Why is yet? And he's a yeti. He's a lot like but Yeti is more fancy. See the bow tie? Yeti yet contradicts. Oh my. He's dressed nice, yet he's a monster. This party's refined, yet it's so bonker. So's from the valley, loves to shop. She hits the mall so she can get some socks. So she could look cute in her so called boots. So knows the reason, yep, that's the truth. That's the cast, and there are plenty more connecting words, phrases, and clauses to show. People say that I'm the life for the party. Conjunction. A word, a phrase, and a clause for everybody. Conjunction. Uh, 
People say that I'm the life of the party. Injunction. A word, a phrase, and a clause for everybody. Injunction. Whoa, that conjunction party was the best party I've ever been to in my entire life. Seriously, those fanboys, they really know how to party, man. Who are you telling me? Excellent. Let's look at some sentences and decide if they are simple or compound. I'll read the sentence and then pause for a moment while you decide if it is simple or compound. Look at the first one. During the hike, Andy took the lead. This sentence is simple. Andy is our subject, took is our verb. We've got one subject and one verb, making it a simple sentence. Don't be tricked by extra words. During the hike is a prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrases don't have extra subjects or verbs in them. So we only have one subject and one verb. It is a simple sentence. Look at the next example. Will you go fishing or will you go camping? This is a compound sentence. Will you go fishing is an independent clause. Will you go camping is an independent clause, and they are joined together by a comma and coordinating conjunction. So compound sentence. Look at the next example. Ordinary light is weak, but lasers are stronger. This is also a compound sentence. Ordinary light is weak is an independent clause. Lasers are stronger is another independent clause joined together by a comma and coordinating conjunction. So compound sentence. Look at the next example. Thousands of bicyclists use the toll road. This is a simple sentence. Thousands is our subject used as our verb. We have one subject and one verb making it a simple sentence. Look at the next example. This light is a laser beam. It is amazing. Here we have a compound sentence. This light is a laser beam is an independent clause. It is amazing is an independent clause. We've joined them together using a semicolon. So compound sentence. Look at the last example. I love to eat pizza, ice cream, and tacos. This is a simple sentence. I have one subject and one verb. I hope you weren't confused or tricked when you saw the comma in coordinating conjunction. You have to be careful. Remember on both sides of the coordinating conjunction you need an independent clause. Is tacos an independent clause? No, it is missing a verb. Therefore this comma in coordinating conjunction is just joining together a series, a list of words in a series. It is not joining together two independent clauses. So this sentence is simple. I hope this lesson helped you understand simple and compound sentences.